This is the story of an Anglo-Saxon princess who was born in the year 614. Her great uncle was King Edwin, one of the most powerful kings of Northumbria, and our princess grew up in his court. Her name was Hild. When the king became a Christian, Hild became one too. And when she grew up, she decided that she wanted to be a nun. She took charge of a convent at a place called Heratu. Heratu was on a wild headland on the northeast coast, and Hill's convent would have looked out across the waves and stood firm against the winds coming off the North Sea. This is Heratu today, still by the sea, but of course it looks quite different. Oh, and by the way, Heratu is now called Hartlepool. Hill's convent is long gone, but the church that stands here now is called St Hilda's. It's got lots of Anglo-Saxon stuff inside, and it's a beautiful building, well worth a visit. So I'm going to have a look. Hild probably wouldn't have been here if it hadn't been for her chum, St Aidan. I think you've heard of him before. You see, Aidan had a plan. He wanted to make sure that girls and well, the women of Northumbria had as much opportunity to be educated and become nuns as the boys did to become monks. And so he asked Hild if she would help him. Eventually, Hild moved further down the northeast coast to another headland by the sea at Whitby. She obviously liked wild and dramatic places and she built a monastery there where she spent the rest of her life. So what was she like? Well, she was obviously clever. She read all of the books that the monks had brought into Northumbria from places like Rome. And it helped that she was a, a princess because it meant that the kings and the bishops all trusted her. And in fact, once they wanted to hold a really important meeting to decide the date of Easter. So they held it at her monastery in Whitby. It was called the Synod of Whitby. And there's another story, the story of the great Whitby poet, Cadman. And you'll find that elsewhere on this resource. Hill died on the 17th of November, 680. She was 66 years old. So let's give Bede a last word on St Hild. Many people came to visit St Hild to seek her advice, including several kings and princes. Her life was a shining example of Christian devotion and grace.